After yesterday's topic that we spoke about, well, I spoke about the disconnection of our plants and our soil and obviously the effect it has on our health and the environment. I thought I will extend a little bit more today on and how plants connect to the soil apart from using organic fertilizers. Well that's the main part that we need to understand. What I'm going to talk about here and look I'm learning all this myself so I get the terminologies a little bit mixed up and some of the words are really big words for me to be able to say but what we're going to talk about is mycorrhizal hyphae. Now, what is that? That it's imagine it like a tiny filament or a strand that's you can't see it with a naked eye. But what happens there is it actually connects to the plant's roots, so they become it's a symbiotic relationship with the plants. And what the mycorrhizal hyphae do? It's like the underground network. It actually absorbs and draws up all those deep minerals where the roots don't go down deep enough to obtain themselves. And that's the connection we have. So there's a lot more to it than that. But mycorrhizal hyphae attach themselves to the edge of the roots or the hair-like structures of the roots. Not these little ones, even smaller than that. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're about a thirtieth in diameter of a strand of hair. That's how small they are. And when they are connected and working in, in synergy with the plants, when you take up a plant out of the ground, it should have a clump of soil attached to it. This doesn't. There's no real aggregation. Very little, in fact, there you can see. Aggregation means, you know, the clumping of soil particles and forming soil. That's how we create soil. The plants with the, 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 the microbes in the soil work together and that's how soil is developed and the life is put into it. So when you take the plant out of the ground, there's no connection. They're not getting those sugars. They're not getting the glucose where the plant's feeding into it. So if there's no plant in there, there's no connection. There's no life source being pushed back into the soil but when there is a plant in the soil and you feed synthetic fertilizer it's the same thing the plant disconnects and it looks like that now I've just pulled up another plant in my veggie garden this is out on the side and you can see how the soil's just fallen off there this is one that's connected to the earth and I mean by connected so much so that when I did lift it up inside here I guarantee you there'll be a handful of worms can you see any at the moment? I'm betting myself there are, and I didn't install them myself too, folks. So this is the connection you want to see. So when you've got long strips of roots hanging down there and there's life and the symbiotic relationship with the mycorrhizal hyphae, they will start to clump up like that. Now, these roots haven't stretched out, but various plants have different types of root structures, so you'll see it form in different ways. This is serious clumping there. This was a seedling that I planted in the ground, and you can see how it's bonded Oh, look, 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 look. This is what we are. Oh, you're hiding from me. I'm going to disturb this root system. Only at the end of the day, it's finished. It's at the end of the season. There we are. Look at that. They are in there. So we have got a heap of life in this root ball and I'm trying to take the soil off and it's not coming off. It's clumped on. It's formed. There's another worm in there. Living the dream there, folks. That's what we're talking about. So when you plant in the garden and you want to grow for a healthy lifestyle and a healthy gut bio you need to use natural products good organic products as close to what nature makes itself and that's what we have and you know that i say to you and i'll say time and time again that we stand by our products now this plant was taken out of one of our raised garden beds which we have our planting mix folks and that's what you want to see. You want to see that clumping even more so. It's only a young seedling, but if it was a evergreen and had a bigger root structure, I guarantee you it'd be out here and it'd be a, a, you know, a couple of shovels of soil attached to it. And if your soil is not alive, this is what it will look like. Pretty much dead. Look at that nothing on it relying on synthetic fertilizing to survive even though this one grew on its own in the out in the paddock there so look after your soil that's the basis of all life i'm repeating myself i know that but it's essential that you have all the information you need so you can make a uh, calculated you know decision you you've, you're actually advised properly and you're informed so you know what you're doing when you're going out into the garden that's how i do it here if you like what we do follow us like us and subscribe to our uh, website I suppose if you want to get more information on a daily basis 
Also, if you watch this just as we've uploaded, it's our weekend time on 3AW, folks. I'm doing the gardening show with Darren James. And also, it's a big weekend sale. It's our last two days of our end of financial, end of financial year sale. So take advantage of the huge discounts. Stock up on all the goodies that you need, all the gardening essentials you need to get your garden activated through winter, spring, summer, and so on. Plenty of great deals at very low prices. It's Vasili's Garden.com from Eva Silly, Maresi. Yeah.